You ever see a Grammys that you thought was really shit And they got all of the uh, choices wrong Because they didn't know what to choose Cause they're all fucked Well there's a lot of bad songs that we're gonna attack the Grammys. Thousand and one steamer piles of crap the Grammys. Telling you the truth you know that we don't lie Here's a thousand and one songs that make you wanna die Oh, And now Here's your hosts, Zap, Bebo, Dan, and Gypsy. This is a thousand and one songs that make you want to die, and we are going to revise the 2010 Grammys. Oh, fuck, what was on there? Muse. I reckon Muse were in that. Living memory in that one. Yeah. Uh, the host was John Goodman. Ah, oh, from Muse. Oh, oh. From uh, <laughs> Monsters Incorporated. Roseanne. From, yeah. I was going to say Rosie yeah. O'Donnell. That's not right. What's that oh, other right. movie that he's in? It's like it's something way. It's like a scary movie. Yeah, he weighs a he's lot. Is that what you mean? <laughs> Monsters, Inc. <laughs> I, I all think I think about is the Avenue Family Lane. Guy sketch where like his whole family's starving and he's heaps fat at the, end of the table <laughs> eating all the food. <laughs> yeah. And right. then the, the heaps skinny, the heap skinny kids that leans over to grab some of his food and he stabs it with a fork. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I always think that uh, John Goodman and John Candy are like the good and evil versions of each other. Which one's the evil one? John Candy. Yeah, okay. That's why he died. Um, oh, yeah. Cloverfield Lane. That's what he's in. Yeah, I haven't seen that, that as a good one. That was fucking pretty scary, that movie. Yeah. Oh, I can shit watch myself. It. Oh, I can seriously shut myself. <laughs> All right, the record of the year. The nominees reasons were... reasons unrelated. Yeah. The, the nominees were Fearless by Taylor Swift. I Am Sasha Fierce by Beyonce. The End by Black Eyed Peas, The Fame by Lady Gaga, and Big Whiskey at the Grugux King by Dave Matthews Band. The fuck is Did that? Grugux <laughs> King? It sounds like, what like it says. a clue like, clock. Look, clients. I don't want to say what, what faction I've just joined, but it rhymes with... <laughs> Rhymes with glue glux yeah. glan. Look, that doesn't surprise me for Dave Matthews Band at all. <laughs> um, the, the winner was um, Fearless by Taylor Swift. Mm. Yeah. Um, who do you have winning the record of the year in 2010, Zav? Um, can you give me the options again? Because I know none of them and I want to base it on yeah. the best name. And I already so, know what the winner is going to be, but I want to hear do it. Do you again. want the just the album names? What? Just the album names. Yeah. Fearless, I Am Sasha Fierce, <clears throat> The End, The Fame, and Big Whiskey at the Gru Grux King. <laughs> yeah, let's go with Big Whiskey at the yeah. Gru Grux <laughs> King. Cool. Yeah. I was Must going to keep forgetting. <laughs> How could it be bad? By Dave Matthews Band. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyone that has uh, named their band after themselves is a fucking grade A fuckhead. Must be a Who really cool allow. guy. <laughs> that's Chibs' whole Dan philosophy. Southern? Yeah. That's the that's the advice Chibs has given me over and over and over and over and over. And uh, what? Just that like you're the person in the band, everyone else is fucked. They don't have a say. That's true. Yeah, it's, it's your band. Yeah. They don't matter. <laughs> it's I, like, don't, I, I, I don't believe a band should be a democracy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. There it should be one person the calling the shots Jimmy and Hendrix other people experience. that follow along. And he's called yeah. the manager. Yeah. 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 Um, Brian, I'm, I'm going with Drew, same thing, Big Whiskey. It's a really good name. I think it's mm. probably... Drew, Drew Grux King. It can't be a bad album with that so name. So I've never... <laughs> it rhymes with Big oh, Whiskey. I don't, I, I, look, I think it's entirely possible it is a bad album. And afterwards, when you guys actually listen to it, it'll be humorous to, to see. I think it's Bevo? an absolute fucking crime that it's not called the Big Risty. <laughs> <laughs> Big Risty and the Gru Grux King. Clan. Um, <laughs> it's, Clan. For me, it's between Taylor and Sasha Fierce. But mm. I feel like both of those albums were won before the best album they both released. Yeah. If you know what I yes. mean. Yes. That is correct. Um, so I'm going to go uh, with. Let's go, Yonce on that one. Yonce. Yeah, mm, Yonce. Um, I'm. Bay once or Bay twice? <laughs> <laughs> I'm also going to go Yonce because I didn't. Uh, Did you not hear I'm... about the big wristy? Nah, the Taylor Swift country era is just a bit, you know, it's a bit much. Like the, um, what's her name? Miley Cyrus country career. That was a bit. Yeah. Nah, nah. 
All right, the album of the year nominees. Um, the record of the year, you mean? Is it? Yeah. Wait. Which record, the album? album? The record was just the one song, isn't it? Oh, have you picked one? Oh, I so no, I just did the album. This is the record. Oh. Okay. Oh, Fuck that up. Fucks. Like. Yeah. Okay. So this is the record of the year. The, album, me out of the order album. Now. I don't know what. Which one did you go for, Chips? I didn't catch. Beyonce. Ah, sorry. Beyonce. Yeah. Uh, okay, the record of the year, Use Somebody by Kings of Leon, Halo yeah. by Beyonce, I Got a Feeling by Black Eyed Peas, Poker Face by Lady Gaga, You Belong With Me, Taylor Swift. The winner was Use Somebody by Kings of Leon. Who you got? The re- record-, record of the year, Zav? Um, what was it? You Belong With Me. That you Belong song? With Me, Taylor Swift, yeah. Poker Face. I probably would have get let that one if it was You B- You Know We Belong Together, the theme of Home and Away. <laughs> <laughs> I probably would have given it to that one if that was the case. That was uh, one year I earlier. Should, I, I love should have won. And I'm going for them. I think they're fucking great. You Somebody, great. good song. They are great. Yeah. Um, Southern? I do not like Kings of Leon at all, but I do like that song very much. So I'm going to give it to that, that what about band. The Queens of Tristan? <laughs> Why don't you like Kings of Leon? Uh, I don't like. I heard a fucking song that made me. I uh, uh, two reasons. Firstly, I heard a song once where it was like um, the singer was like to be there. No, it's like a. I'm okay. ah! He does that in it. I don't know. He, he just goes yeah, like, yeah, ah! yeah, yeah, yeah. She's such a charmer. That's it. Oh, no. Yeah, and he's like, it's the he sings, wow! it, sings it weird. Sounds weird. Yeah, and. And then the second reason, there's a local hipster who will, will, will remain unnamed, but really pissed me off one night. And on top of pissing me off, he it's was hanging. L Simpson. Yeah. <laughs> what does he their was- name? What does their name rhyme with? Uh, Goo Gucks. It, no, Goo it r- Gucks. rhymes with Pink. Glow John Joven. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, oh Joe McGovern. <laughs> yeah. No, I know. Oh, love Joe. No, I, I, I love, I love him too. But um, he re- one of it's my first Joe. impressions of him was he was hanging off me and just going, just a charmer. Oh no, ah! just. A-. I'm like, that's I a hate pretty this. shit. That is a pretty shit song. If you're gonna go into Kings of Leon, but if you go the the playlist I made for you, D Rex. Um, I'm getting through it by the way. Kings of Leon, but it has Kings of Leon's first album on it. Okay. And I highly, re- so, I highly not, recommend it. Yeah, I do like you, somebody. So they're they're not completely dead to me, but I I do associate well, a lot of my like, hate with that's that. That's off like their fourth album. Use somebody. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for the record, Joe McGovern, I love you. You're fine. Okay. Wait, did you pick a song? Yeah, use somebody. Oh, okay. Bevo. Look, I like Kings of Leon, but I don't like use somebody. It's like the only one of their songs that I'm just like ugh. next. Um, it got overplayed. Yeah. <laughs> I can imagine me in like New York at a pizza place and I like steal some fucking guy's pizza and he's like, hey, you were somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Kings of Leon overheard it. They're like, you are somebody. You s- you know, ah, mm, I feel like a pizza. That'll be a hit. <laughs> um, just Halo. Halo's got Ryan. Ryan Tedder wrote Halo. With yeah, Beyonce. Ryan just fucking, can he just calm yeah. down for five minutes? He needs to go away. <laughs> <laughs> I got a feeling. Hey, he's Ryan, really shit. I've got a friend called Brendan. I got a feeling. But I do. <laughs> I do enjoy the uh, Jewish uh, imagery in that one. So I'm going to pick. I got a feeling by the Black Eyed Peas. What the fuck is he going American History X on us again? <laughs> again, no, he's like, he's like again. American History beverage. Okay. Lachan. They say Lachan. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Edward Beveridge. Um, Edward I like Beveridge people. hands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go with you, somebody, as well, but it's very tight between Halo, but I'm going Kings of Leon. Best New Artist nominees uh, Zach Brown Band, uh, the Ensign Ricky, Ensign Ricky of the category, Kerry Hilson. MGMT, Silver Sun Pickups, and the Ting Tings. Um, the oh. winner was the Zach Brown Band. Who the fuck is that? Country fuck off. fucking shit, I think. I don't know. Fuck off. I think yeah. I think I listened to Zach. them in a different um, Grammys episode, and I'm 99% sure they were a huge bucket of shit. Zach Brown did cool. a guest spot on one of the Foo Fighters albums. 
So he's, he's being oh, a clown once, ate my asshole, and I told him to fuck off afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> but waited for him to do it. Yeah. I remember Street listening dog. to him in another yeah, heard the Grammys fighters. episode and going like, they're a fucking country band. They should not be in this list at all. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone listened to Kerry Hilson? Who? Next question. Yeah, that's all right. Um, who do you have winning the best new artist in 2010, Zav? I honestly fucking tuned out. What were the options? Zach Brown Band, Kerry Hilson, MGMT, Silver Sun Pickups, oh, or the MGMT. Teen Kings. Yeah, MGMT. Okay. Management. Good on you. <laughs> Mugment. Uh, it's Mugment. Dan Southern. Mugment. Uh, MGMT as well. I think they're fantastic. Right. Okay. Bevo. You guys are going to hate me. No. <laughs> I'm a big Zach Brown Band fan. <laughs> <laughs> I really like that song, That's Not My Name. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you when he was a bad playing opinion alert. Bad opinion <laughs> alert. I like the, um, the, That's Not My Name by the King Kings. <laughs> Fucking hell is that? <laughs> that's, that's a bad song, I'm not man. spending the Sorry, next two and a half right? hours with you doing that. <laughs> oh, Ting Tings, that's not my name. Yeah. Nah. I'm going to go with the Ting Tings as well because yes. it has the most attractive person in the list. They had a second song called We Walk, which is good too. I don't know. <laughs> All right. How about we go just call you Stacey? Bye. Oh, you're all shit. Everyone.